All right, welcome back to the shop. This week we're gonna take a look at this EnviroCleanse mobile air system and see if this is something that could work inside your shop as well as inside of your home. What is up, I am Brandon. Welcome back to the Make or Break shop where in order to build things, you usually have to break a few things along the way. And one of the ways that things can really mess up in your shop involves fumes, whether that is fumes from paint or fumes coming off of a laser, or you somehow caught your shop on fire. We're gonna talk about something today that can really help with not only fumes, but also all the dust that kind of circulates around in the air. I'm looking at this really from the workshop context. I'm actually kind of lucky because I'm in my garage. So if things get really dusty or smoky or whatever, I can open the door, let it air out, I'm good to go. But for a lot of you, you're probably in a closed off room and having some type of air purification is a pretty big deal. So you've probably seen some of these units where they're actually attached to the ceiling, it keeps the particles out of the air. Even if you do have a dust collector, which I have right over there, they help get the fine dust out of the place. So if you've been around for these reviews before, we're gonna first give you the TLDR, what are my overall thoughts and how I'm using this. The next we'll get into kind of what all the features are, and then we'll get into our actual own test and some of my own use cases. So overall thoughts on this guy, this has actually been really useful. So things in the house, like if we're doing the fireplace and we got some smoke coming in, I can have this running, purifies the air, keeps that smoke smell out. Or we're cooking, something gets burnt, um, this can help purify the air pretty quickly. And then inside of the shop, but this has actually been really great just to keep the dust out of the air inside of the shop. Especially, I have found this really useful with my laser cutter. So let's get into the details on this thing. First, when you get it out, really the only negative that I have for it is it's just kind of industrial looking which if you're inside the shop I guess it's not really that big of a deal I mean I've got two by four furniture and massive machines but if this is inside your house it's not the prettiest looking of things there's some other ones out there that have a better I guess industrial design but this thing is super functional um, it's actually the units that people have in hospitals and mobile units that cleaning companies use so this is like industrial grade for real but outside of the looks it's metal it's not going anywhere. It's really simple too. So this just lifts right out. And then you can get inside to the air cartridge and then the HIPAA filter, which is right below it. This is like a two stage filter. This guy, kind of like the filters that you would have in your house going into your HVAC system. It's got a little bit more to it, uh, especially for VOCs. It does a really good job. They recommend it gets replaced every six months. So there is an added kind of expense to it. It's a little bit more expensive. And then this is the cool part. So this is the actual HEPA filter. This is what's a little bit different. This is gonna get anything they say larger than 0.2 microns. So it's a pretty simple system. The air flows through these vents all along the sides and it's going down. And there's a fan down here sucking everything down. So this one you replace every two years and this one is every six months. So there is a little bit more of an added expense versus just your normal filtration system you probably have in your house. And then there's just a simple knob to turn it on and off. When it's running, the air is coming through these vents on the sides as well as on the back. It gets sucked through this process and then it gets vented out the bottom or front and then it shoots up. And then depending on the size of the room, they say that the air is gonna get exchanged if this thing is set to high about three to five times per hour, which is pretty crazy that it'll filter through all the air that quickly. All right, so let's get into some of the lab testing. And this isn't just coming from EnviroClean. So they have an acid test, which is hydrogen sulfide. They have a nitrogen compound test, which is ammonia. And then they have a formaldehyde test or like the common indoor air pollutants. So really within an hour and a half for a normal size room, it's going to take out a lot of those pollutants out of your air, whether inside your house or inside of your shop. So that's kind of an overview, but a lot of that is coming right out of their manual. Let's actually see what this thing can do. And the first one is going to involve some fire, but first we need to build a little apparatus so we can make it work. So, pulling up the Home Depot. Have you ever wondered why there's so many rental trucks at Home Depot? Be a uh, great cover for uh, Walter White. Like, seriously. Two, three, four, five, six. What we're gonna do is build a box around it so that we can put some smoke inside to kind of see how it filters out the air. We're gonna make this real cheap. We've got some clear acrylic. Well, 
It'll be clear once you take the plastic. And then we're going to add some wood around it just to build the box. So let's build it. So we need to cover the box up and I didn't want to buy any more scrap wood. I have this big old sheet of foam and I think I'll be able to just snap this apart and then just either glue it or staple it into the actual frame and then I'll be able to reuse it hopefully once we are done. actually put some smoke into this and see how it circulates and compare it in time. So we need to get something that can actually make smoke. So the first attempt, I had this guy running the whole time and I think that I actually need to have it off because it was already circling out the air. So we're gonna relight this and go for round number two. So now that we've got a ton of smoke inside, I wound up doing a couple sparklers. I had to seal off the top real quick because the air was getting out. I've got a hole in the back. I'm gonna open that up, turn this thing on, and we're gonna see how fast this actually cycles out all of the air. So it is on and it is cycling through. So it did not take this thing long at all. I'll actually put a timestamp right down below, you can see, to where the air got pretty much filtered out. I mean, it only took about a minute or so, which is pretty crazy. So that test actually went surprisingly well. So I've taken the box off and we're gonna clean off the acrylic and we got this cleaned up because next I wanna actually test out dust particles, specifically dust you would get from sanding, see how quickly it can take that out from the air. So what I'm thinking for this is I'm going to grab my sander, it's got a ton of sawdust in it right now. And what we're gonna do, there's a little hole in the back of this. I'm gonna put this back on top, pour some dust in and then hit it with the compressed air to kind of circulate it up. And then we'll see how fast it's able to circulate this out. And now this is clean for the most part. Let's take a look at this. Go ahead and turn it off. So obviously there is lots of dust that has settled and you can see the top of this filter has gotten quite a bit of dust that has gotten on it. I actually have already done this. It didn't record. So a lot of it is already gone, but <coughs> all of that has been staying out of my lungs. I just wanted to do a quick test so you can kind of see how quick this is getting brought in. Now it is hitting the exhaust in the back and it's shooting up, but once it actually gets circulated in, it is getting pulled right into this guy, which is doing a uh, great job. see how well this guy does and it's really loud in here so i've been running the laser for a little while now this thing has been going on low and it's actually doing a pretty good job keeping uh the smoke down especially but also uh, the smell i'm just doing it off of wood but if you are blah, 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 blah. but if you are using a laser cutter you probably still will get some fumes around the shop so this has done a pretty good job of keeping all that stuff down 
So this has been a nice addition to the shop and surprisingly has been a big help inside of the house, getting rid of mistakes when I cook as well as when I start a fire. But it's been great to help keep the dust down when I don't have this big, massive garage door open. So here at the Make or Break shop, we don't just do reviews of tools. We actually use them to make some pretty cool things. You can check out some projects right here and right here. And until the next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.